Cadence of Conflict, Asia, July 20, 2020 Hong Kong is seriously considering shutting itself down. Many may argue that Hong Kong is certainly shutting down, but a basic understanding of humanity says that people are resilient. China claims that doing whatever China wants inside Hong Kong is good, right, and fair, regardless of the promise not to do so until 2047. Democracies and countries with free speech have always risen up with unstoppable strength to resist powers claiming their right to control them from the outside, as China is doing. France insulted King Henry V of England, according to legend, with three tennis balls instead of promised tribute. Henry invaded and conquered. At that time, the French were spoiled and foolish. Their military was no match for England, because it was not disciplined. Scotland revolted against King Edward I and won independence. At that time, the Scottish were selfless and willing to burn their own cornfields and even die. Scotland fought from desperation to not be oppressed, while England's disposition of entitlement was no match. China claims that Hong Kongers are spoiled like the French were under Henry V. Hong Kongers claim they are desperate to escape oppression like the Scottish under Robert the Bruce. Who is right? The next few years will answer that question, but it could go either way. Nothing is decided. At this time, however, China is doing certain things. Then Hong Kong is responding in a certain way, while other countries in the world respond in their ways. China believes everyone else is wrong. And that is the cadence of the conflict already seen in the Pacific.